Hi everybody, this is Power Cable TV. I am Mr. Four and this is the Tech Talk with Mr. Four Mianas Badapira. So today on our show, we're going to talk about ways to take care of your gadgets. It might be a feature phone, it might be a tablet, it might be a smartphone, or it might be just uh, an iPod or anything that you use to transfer data to and from one place and another. So guys, today I'm going to tell you how to take care of your device. So brace yourselves and get your popcorns and get ready. The first thing, guys, if you want to take care of your phone or your device or your gadget, the first thing is about screen time. Screen time is the time you spend on your device. It may be the time you spend texting, watching videos and playing games. It's very crucial for your device uh, livelihood. Why I'm saying so? Every device, it might be your phone, it might be your even your pet at home, it needs to rest. Even your own clothes, you can't wear the same clothes for over and over, it needs to rest. So for the processors and the RAM and the ROM I've been talking from, from the other show, for it to perform well, it needs to, to rest sometimes. So make sure you have a, a screen time of how you use your phone. Second, it's about moisture. Man, I got no one's a good way to communicate with a teenager phone key. You got a case of home, maybe getting any my text message can actually party. But that is affecting our devices. Why? These devices, it might be speaker holes, earphone holes, or charging holes. These holes. They may seem like they are impenetrable, but when it comes to moisture, moisture gets inside these uh, devices and it, make, it makes the devices to malfunction. So make sure you do not have moisture around your phones. Even if you are putting your phone on the dresser or on the kitchen uh, table or whatever, as long as there is moisture in it and there is steam, it affects your device functionality. And then the technician tells you to phone you a pina mfura. And then you know, I'm not a technician. You know, I'm not a pina mfura. It's because he knows that there is moisture and you are saying that I'm not a pina mfura. Yes, maybe he didn't physically drop it in water, but it was in moisture places. Maybe you're bathing with it or you are in the kitchen with it, uh, doing your dishes, holding it and stuff like that. So moisture is very crucial. The other part I'm going to talk about is uh, using trusted sources for software. We have so many softwares which are being made right now, and you have seen softwares in this Google Play Store, this iOS Store, this Sky Play Store, this Geo Store. All of these stores they come with applications that are used for devices of different devices. It might be a Kai OS phone, which in Kai OS you get it from the Kai OS store. It might be in iOS for Apple. You get it for Apple Store, but most of the things, most of the applications we have in our phones or in our devices are not coming from trusted sources. Some of these sources are uh, have malware. Some of the malware in the softwares can affect your phones. They can read your data. Can read where you are. Actually, some of the people, most of the people, we don't even read our terms and conditions when we are uh, installing a software. It might be in your PC or a tablet or a phone. You just say skip, 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 skip. But if you look at some of the things on that uh, letter or that paragraph, they may be having things like, do not use your device uh, in this type of section or this type of software or this type of uh, network, and then you have a problem now. So trusted sources is very essential. And uh, the other thing I'm going to talk about trusted sources, most viruses are made uh, and are coming from softwares which which are not uh, good for our phones for example right now i'm going to be straight up with you our audience here at power cable tv whatsapp gb is banning a lot of uh, whatsapp actually is banning most of the people who are using whatsapp gb from using whatsapp again because they've taken most of their market share yes gb comes with many cool features but it's not a trusted source it's not the actual whatsapp if you look at the new WhatsApp, which is updated now, it's very cooler than most of these WhatsApp GBTM or whatever these people are coming up with. In these uh, GBs, yes, they have uh, functions which we need, but they are not coming from trusted source. Somebody can easily hack your phone using WhatsApp GB. WhatsApp GB is very easy to hack than the original WhatsApp because the end-to-end -end encryption is not actually 100% correct. So make sure you get your sources from device from the trusted sources and stores. 
And the other thing I'm going to talk about is about sun heat. Uh, the heat of the sun is not good for any gadget. It might be a tablet, it might be a phone, it might be what. I think you have seen like people were using Android 11 to call 13 and above. They can now report if your phone is now hot, that your device is now hot, please cool it down. Make sure your devices are always in cool and dry places. If it is a tablet, a laptop, a phone, it must be always in a cool, dry place. Because heat right now, like right now, there's a high heat wave right now here yeah, in this part of the world. There's high heat, so it may affect even the, the devices that we use here in our country. So check out that out. Yes, we do not want to, some people they love to touch the, the touch of their phone as it is, they want to put a temper glass, they want to put a shutter glass or a porch, but it's very crucial to protect your device. It might be a laptop, it might be a tablet, it might be a cell phone. You should always make sure you are protecting your device with a porch or with a temper glass. This thing can save a lot of money and a lot of heartbreaks, this thing called a porch that you have on your phone. It can save a lot of things. So make sure you, you're protecting your device with also a Porsche or a temper glass. Because those devices are very fragile. They are made with very fragile materials. So you should check out that one also. When you are using your device, check out the protection. Make sure it's protected outside and inside. Either it might be the software, or it might be the hardware, or it might be the outer. All of these things are ways that you take care of your device. Last but not least, guys, we're going to talk about storage. We talked about RAM and ROM from our previous uh, episode. We're talking about what is RAM and what is ROM. Yes. But do you know that you are not supposed to store things to optimum level? If, if your phone is 32 gig, you are not supposed to store things which are 32 gig inside your phone. At least leave 2 gig or 3 gig leeway for the phone for it to breathe. Because the processing you are doing on your phone uses a lot of memory and a lot of processing speed. And a lot of gig ahead but if you put a lot of stuff in your phone it may cause the functionality to be low if it is low the functionality and that we have a problem if the ram is over saturated if the rom is over saturated it will freeze one of the only chance phone and you freeze phone and you freeze it's not about the level of the phone no it's about the way you are using your phone even a 500 megabyte uh, ram phone right now that you can buy for less than 30 dollars right now you can use it for a year without it freezing if you know how to use it. It's about oversaturation. Don't oversaturate your devices. It might be your laptop, it might be a desktop, it might be a tablet, it might be a phone. You should not put things to oversaturate and to optimum level. Leave space for it to breathe. Guys, these are the things that we, we are saying are essential for your phones or your gadgets to function well because it's essential. We need your gadgets for you to watch Power Cable TV every time you are bored or at home at work and get inform informed and entertained at the same time. My name is Mr. Fog Nyaraz Marapira. I'm from Power Cable TV and this is the Tech Talk. Ciao.